hello friends welcome back in this video we will see a different type of geneva drive mechanism and it is internal geneva drive mechanism we will see how to design it and how the internal geneva drive mechanism work so i wish you will like this video so let's see how to design it and how it work and how to do it in solidworks okay let's go okay at first we are going to sketch the driven wheel so select top plane sketch from here draw a circle now choose center line this case is center line again choose circle draw two circle okay now choose smart dimension and define the circle 300 and keep the distance between the center point of these two circle 125 okay now again choose line and draw a line here choose mirror entities select entities to mirror select this line and mirror about choose this construction line okay now select trim entities and trim this line <coughs> okay <coughs> now go for circular sketch pattern select this point ok now entities to pattern select this line this line and this line so we want four number of entities so ok again choose trim entities and trim this line ok <coughs> now this gets out from feature select extruded boss base and extrude it up to 10 millimeter ok now define color choose blue ok now see our driven wheel is ready so save it desktop new folder write down geneva drive internal ok now we are going to sketch the second part the crank <coughs> now we are going to design the crank so select top plane and sketch choose circle draw a circle and define the circle one hundred millimeter okay now 
choose center line okay draw a circle choose a small dimension and keep the distance 37.5 and the diameter will be 15 okay now sketch out from feature extrude boss base and extrude it up to 10 millimeter okay now define color select it red now see our crank is ready so save it now we are going to sketch the pin so again choose top plane make a sketch draw a circle and keep the dimension of this circle 15 millimeter okay sketch out now from feature extrude boss base and extrude it up to 20 millimeter okay <coughs> now define color and make it blue okay now save it Pin. okay now we are going to assemble them so from here select assembly at first browse the crank and drag it here so at first make it plot now again from assembly insert component choose the pin and drag it here select this face mate and this make them concentric okay now select this face and this face make them coincident okay <coughs> again insert components and browse the driven width and drag it here okay choose top plane and mate select this face and make them coincident okay now see it can move easily over the top plane okay now we are going to sketch so select top plane and sketch select this edge and go for convert entities exit sketch now select this sketch mate and select this face and make them concentric okay now see that it's moving according to this line this circle so select okay now hide this sketch okay <coughs> now again make some relation between driven wheel and the crank so choose this surface go for mate and select this this face and make them coincident okay now see and now we have to place this driven wheel and crank 
at the perfect position so from move component rotate component now rotate it and try to place it at the right place now select top plane go for sketch again select this edge convert entities now exit sketch again go for assembly and choose mate select this arc sketch to and select this face at them and them make them concentric now see it's rotating according to the circle okay now again place it at the right position Okay. Now save the assembly. Okay, save save it. Now go for motion study. From here choose motion analysis. Drag it up. Select motion analysis properties and frames per second make it 25 okay now select contact to solid bodies and from here select this body and this body okay now go for motor and select this face and Define the RPM 20. Okay. From here, drag it up to 15 seconds. Now go for calculation. Now it will take some time to calculate. So we have to wait. I hope I hope you like my this video and so please don't forget to hit like, comment and share and subscribe my channel to get more videos about SolidWorks design and project. So see it's calculating. okay calculation has been finished so from here select this line and hide it now drag it down and play it now see how the internal Geneva drive mechanism work so from this video we learn that how to design the internal Geneva mechanism, drive mechanism how to assemble them and how to analyze the motion so if you want you can save this video from here save animation and select the location edit file name and choose the width and height ratio 16 is to 9 and go for save now from here select microsoft microsoft video one and make it unselect 
and OK. Now again it will go for calculate and after calculating it your video will automatically save in your folder. Thank you. Thank you for watching.